poet friends. Um, today I am going to review and read from Rob McLennan's Life Sentence, which I read very recently. It is published by Spoyton Dival. I'm not sure if I read that correctly, but here we go. So I'm going to start the way I always do, Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Primer. Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eye primer to keep my mascara from getting all over my eyelids. Jane Airedale Glow Time BB Cream. You only need a pearl like that. Let's chat about Life Sentence. So this was written by Rob McLennan. It was dedicated to his father and that's where the book starts off. It starts off with his father's cancer illness. There are echoes of his late mother in there. And then it travels from that time into him becoming a husband and becoming a father. So it goes from this unparenting to parenting. Rob McLennan mentions that one of his projects is to, to take a poem as long as a life, to quote BP Nickel and that though he's prioritized the process over the biography, each part of this, of this book is all taken from different parts of his life. So I think what we're seeing are the, the pieces or the materials that are being used are, um, are images from his own life and feelings from his own life. And yet it does feel like something completely original and not just a confessional book of poetry. I'm using Flower Child here, setting my primer, getting a base. So I am going to go back over the brow bone with a lighter color here. I'm going to take this Smarty Pants for my brows. It's technically, technically an eyeshadow, but I use eyeshadows on my brows as well. I don't think there's any need to have to go out and buy a special brow powder. I think I'm going to go for a more dominant brow than I usually do today. I'm just making little hair movements there. Back to life sentence. One of the things that I noticed right away with this, the punctuation completely tells you how to read it. Personally, I love when I start reading a poem and you are you are being dominated in a way by the poem. The poem is telling you how it wants to be read. Um, it's like when you go to a really great restaurant the atmosphere hits you right away in a certain way it knows how it wants you to feel when you walk through that door and that's how this book of poetry is broadened backbeat skeleton of all concerns conditions heart a full-length beach my father is 70 years old my father is 71 radiation I am reminded of, of, the bus swerves, fearful instance, erasing scriptures, scrap, a dream might stay in place. The body on a beach chair, unlikely, tractor, pulling rows, more likely, probable, are creatures of attraction. One word against the same word. Three months for roughness, pushing summer. What behavior? Factory line, draws, masculine to feminine. A little sleep, some blood work, radiation. Destroys to aim the bad cells, but pounds good also. Undiscerning, friendly fire, cartography, in knots. My father is a paper airplane, sent. I'm going to do my creases. Should I do a matte look? I'll do this jet setter. I'm going to keep in the same range of color. 
I'm gonna take my crease brush. I'm gonna take the long tip to the outer edge and just turn in. Okay, I have some dimension there. Once again, and this is still the Tarsalette, the same one I've been using the whole time, I'm gonna go back over with this Flower Child, the same one I used when I was first setting. Blend that in. I almost want it to look like the natural shadows of my skin, which is why I'm using this, this palette right now. Do you like my toothpaste shirt today? That's this white. Or it's like a cream, like a white peony or something, a magnolia. I'm gonna do that in here as well. This is why I like to use my BB cream before I put my eyeshadows on because I actually do put it over my eyes and it just gives me a uniform base. I'm gonna do the same color that I used for my eyebrows. That's really messy, but I'll go over it with my contour cream. One of the things that I enjoyed about this was the sort of the implication of the body as landscape and there are throughout the book references to signals mapping currents and shorelines tides and you do see you do see the ocean you see, see the tides in basically the the sound of the poetry or at least the surf i found in these sentences a lot of times there's there's a word that goes out and a word that comes back in or a phrase that comes out, a phrase that comes back in. There's this equal balance between different parts of the sentences. Colon, semicolon, stop, just stop, a sentence, shortened, this long sentence, long, perilous, condensed, where you have gone, the river's slowness, lake, the slowness of these phrases, a most satisfying taste. What's great about that is when the collection comes to the romance um, and the marriage, um, there's this sense of equalness between husband and wife or finding your other, that sort of platonic idea of finding the other part of your soul. And it seems like each one of these sentences is or many of these sentences are finding the other part of their soul in the poetry. Which is nice. There's a poem called The Cat Latitudes. Polydactyl holds his own, a paw in every port. Litters, had he not been clipped. The geography speaks to the body itself, but also to our choices through life and, and that trajectory through life that we make sort of in the same way as a, as a river or an ocean, eroding, trickling, finding our ways through different obstacles. I've decided I'm going to do a very bright blue. So I wanna keep it simple. Sometimes when you have a really bright color, it's best to keep it mono, monochromatic or to just have one sort of a background base color and then one exciting color. Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. And there's one color in here that looks like that, that blue. I think that's what I'll go for. I need a very small, a very clean brush. See, it's tiny. I'm gonna make sure it's wet for a darker pigment. So when you're going with a really bright color like this, to keep it modern, it can be helpful to go really graphic, like just kind of a hard line. I'm not trying to put this all over. I really just want this to be a thin 
blue line. I'm stealing this makeup look from my mother-in-law. Thank you, Linda, because it always looks great on her. I think my favorite part of this collection was the, the love part. You expect to read more love poetry than you do. I'd like to write more love poetry. I think we could all use more love poetry. As stubborn as a shark, an underlight, such printed gasp, gestural, blend, would kiss, recurrence, rock, such speechless shelf. I call thee, wife, a mirror held, or would not, change, is president. Fall right into, shorelines, vast, all that money does. The shape of water, grammar, ends, cleft notebook, slow, a dazzling shadow. They ring five bells, could do. Historic trees, we hang from, shoeless, bare feet, unified, distended limbs, jars of broken glass. I want to know you. Rob McLennan's wife is Christine McNair and her book of poetry, Charm, is amazing. I recommend that one as well. It's just, it's really beautiful. There's a lot of love there. And a sense of balance and equality. Like for every object, there's an action. For every call, there's a response. It's very soothing. I'm going to go in and clean some of this up. My Anastasia Contour Cream Kit in Fair. I'm going to do my skin. I have the Cover FX Concealer, the Power Play Concealer in P Light 2. This is going to be for the lighter parts of my face or the parts of my face that come out or that I want to come out in a highlight. NARS, the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Creamy Catalina, is going to be for the parts of the face that I want to recede. So like my cheekbones, and my forehead to make it seem like I have a smaller forehead. And I will take my contour kit and I'm just going to put a bit under my cheekbone. around my forehead or on the sides of my nose and my jawline and a little bit under and then I'll just go under my lip. In life sentence you're going to find beaches, waves, ports, tides, islands, latitudes, tropics and and then a lot of domestic language as well. And it's really nice to see these two in relation with each other. I think the sense of signals mapping out geographies is, is a stand-in for our language mapping out ourselves and our bodies. Populations, glisten. Territory claims. I want to know how much I want. Sings portable as clocks. Horse portraits for my preteen niece. Blind sight, rivers pitch beneath, the house on stilts, a bedrock, wind, Canadian shield, as in behind and not as twinned. Love, intrigues, we testify, the optic nerve seeks out, familiar. Perfect, pitch, we couple, granite, 
what would astonish, right themselves, naked face, these daily fragments. How would I imagine landscape, thorny numbers, scan, unblinking heart, a mother muscle, registers, blend of rhyme, a fever, level at the trees, satellite, a language. I am going to blend. This is already damp, I just cleaned them, so I'm just going to go right ahead. For those living in Ottawa, I think you're going to like the cameo that Bank Street makes. Actually, it's not a cameo, it has a whole section. I live just off of Bank Street, so it's always nice to read literature that is set in your neighborhood. So I'm using the smaller tip for the places that need more detail. And then the big part for the larger planes of my face and my neck. All right, now it's time for my powder foundation, the Jane Airedale Mineral Foundation in Suntan. Now I'm going to use a mineral veil. I'm gonna go in with the Kabuki. It's a translucent powder. There's no color to it. It's supposed to make you look poreless. I don't think I ever look poreless, but it helps. I forgot to do that last time. I'm going to put on my lipstick before I finish my eyes. my Jane Airedale nude lip liner. Just soften that before I put my lipstick on. This is the Urban Decay Heartless lipstick. I'm gonna go back into my brows and just clean up these ends here. All right, now I can go in with my bronzer. I think I kind of match my shirt with the pink and blue. Um, so I have a friend who loves my little bum chin and she always tells me that I should contour that too to like accentuate the bum chin. Cynthia Christina, this one's for you. Blending. Today I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty. This is called Ridic. Just going to add a little pop of color up there. Usually I build this up a little bit. So I loved about this book the fact that there's a sense of rushing, of tumbling, um, this very aquatic energy. Of course, because of the, the vocabulary that is used, um, but also just in the sense of rhythm and the slowness at the beginning, the trickling, it's almost like a melting, what's happening, happening right now in the spring. And by the end, and especially through the romance that happens, and there's this very quiet, but very powerful passion um, that's happening in those poems. The energy, this it's just this torrent. Most of these are all prose poems. At the beginning of the book, the poems are quite condensed and then as you get closer to the middle they sort of begin to stretch apart and and then it contracts again and by the time you get to the end we're back at these compact prose poems and there's a lot of energy and a lot of life force there i think that's the right word for it and this is a book about life grief or the fear of losing your parents, of finding the person you love, developing a relationship with that person, having children, and then finding out even more about your partner through the act of starting a family. Oh, it was, it was really beautiful. Stars, what silly talk, derelict, rain, a lack of assertion, writing as a simple fact, overwhelmed, a sequence, empty on the horizon, mother, may, a path to choose me, major down to minor, 
taken out of context. L'Oreal Voluminous Slash Paradise. So today is day 15 for us. And we still didn't leave the house, even though we completed the 14-day quarantine, because I think everyone's just supposed to be isolating now, no matter whether you're healthy or sick or whatever, and you're only supposed to leave your house if you need to. Highlighter. Glossier's Quartz Highlighter. Uh, I'm just gonna do some brow gel just to keep everything in place since I did do a pretty bold brow today and that's what I'm going for not afraid to put on a little bit more this is a glossier brow gel in blonde by the way glossier's products don't smell very good I put these on today? I don't know. They're a bit long, so I'm gonna cut them down to size. Putting on eyelashes is always the last thing I do because it's the one thing that if I end up running out of time for, it doesn't really matter. This is the duo glue, the dark one that you can get at Shopper so that it dries black. You know, let that just dry for like 15 seconds. I usually just take just something with a small end. It's not perfect. I will have to go over that with a mirror, a mirror after. have to go to a mirror for this and I'm just going to go back over with that blue color and I need a mirror for this again okay and one thing I always do after I put on fake eyelashes is I'll take something with a small end and I'm just gonna separate because sometimes the glue and the mascara can stick to each other how does it look All right, that's my look. And this is the book. I definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of, of prose poetry, if you want to bring more understated love poetry into your life, um, some of that energy, if you're at any point in the process of starting a family or maybe you're caring for a, an ill loved one, someone who's older, um, this will definitely speak to you, but I think anyone could enjoy this.